Hello YouTube, this is the Computer Pro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to port forward without any router password, usernames, or programs. So, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how to port forward for Minecraft, and that's port 25565. So you go to your start button, then you click computer, then you scroll down here and click network. <laughs> and then you're gonna wait in until network infrastructure shows wireless broadband router. Then you're gonna right click on that and go to properties. Then you're gonna click settings. Then you're gonna click add. And then you're gonna put a description of the service. I'm gonna put Minecraft. And then you're gonna put in your local IP address. And if you don't know how to get this, you run CMD. And then you type in IP config. Then you scroll all the way up and look at the IPv4 address. So mine's 192.168.1.3. And then you're going to put the port for the service, which is 2556. I'm going to put 2556 um, 2 because I already have 2556325565 forwarded. And it's a TCP port. And um the um website for your game server that you're trying to run will show probably whether it's TCP or UDP and if it's both you're just gonna make two separate ones. And uh so you're gonna put two five five six two also. Then you click OK. Then you click OK again. And then it'll just load up and then if it's successful nothing will happen like this and if it's um, unsuccessful an error message will pop up so then you click OK again and we could close that and now to check if it's open you type canyouseeme.org and then there's an open port checker tool and then 25562 I'm going to check the port. I think we may have to be running a server on that port. So we'll just uh, copy this all. I'm going to make a new folder. Put it on there. So now we're going to go to uh, server properties and change the um, port, which is right here. Save. I could run it. And there you see, success. So yes, you have to be running a server on that port for Can You See Me to work. So you see, I just port forwarded 25562, ran a server on it, and you see it's successful. So that's how you port forward without using any um, applications or, or um, programs or using any router website usernames or passwords. This is good if you forgot your router username or password like I did. And so, yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. See you guys next video.